Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts as they step aboard the Sailfish 272cc, a center console focused on pleasing both the fisherman and the family. The Sailfish 272cc has an overall length of 27 feet, a beam of 9 feet 1 inch, and a max horsepower rating of 400. Built to take the family offshore and keep them comfortable and safe, she has a draft of 18 inches, a variable dead rise of 22 to 24 degrees, a weight of 6,850 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 177 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. Guys, today we're on the Sailfish 272cc. And, okay, so friends of mine have the old generation 27 from Sailfish. And we love going offshore on that boat. The family's always comfortable and we seem to always catch fish. Remember how much we enjoyed being on their flagship, the 36 footer? Everywhere I look and having just gotten exposed to the boat, I see some of those features down into a more manageable package. I can't wait to see how this is gonna work out. You know, one thing's for sure about Sailfish and you can count on this from them is they're always trying to find some way to improve the boat. I mean, even though the boat seems like it's just right, they listen to the customers and they're always looking to just make it that much better. And this boat looks like it's definitely heading in that direction. The 272cc demonstrates what happens when you take an already popular sized model in your fleet and push the limit a little further. What stood out to me first about this model was the ride and the handling. The variable degree step tall is a combination of dead rise angles that work together in three stages to improve the ride and keep you comfortable and dry. The combination of angles provides lift while you're accelerating, a soft ride, and between the downward angle transition points on the bottom and a wide bow flare above the waterline, a nice dry ride on a windy day when the chop kicks up. The new Sailfish 272cc is taking family and friends offshore fishing, and with all the amenities and attention to detail, you are sure gonna be comfortable doing so. In the bow is bench seating that also provides a forward lounge seating on your port and starboard sides. What was really cool about today though, were the headrests. All you had to do was push on it and it literally just pops up. And then when you're done, push on again, goes back down and blends completely in with the seating. Offshore today, I found myself fighting a fish and had to walk up to the bow. And then all of a sudden I said, oh no, we forgot to remove the table. That's never happened. Well, good news is the table never got in the way. I went right around it. We did not have to remove anything to transform this boat for fishing. There is a built-in forward-facing 55 quart cooler seat. I personally like having that right here. It makes it so much easier when lounging or entertaining at the bow. Inside the console, you have an electric head with holding tank, freshwater sink, sea deck flooring, and a mirror. Another detail that'll affect your user experience if you find yourself at the wheel on a boat is the helm layout. The Sailfish has brought a new look to the 272 with a very stylish looking three-sided glass enclosure under their hardtop. This is a look that's gaining popularity lately and their version of it works perfectly. This enclosure protects you from the weather and the large top provides plenty of shade for everyone. The black acrylic dash panel is also angled perfectly for optimal visibility and large enough to accommodate all instrumentation and a 16 inch MFD screen. Another amenity on this boat, actually for driver comfort, was at the helm. The seats are actually activated just like in your car to move closer or further back. That is great because if you're driving the boat and want to get a little closer to the helm, you have that option. The helm rigging station looks like it came off a 40 footer but it fits the boat perfectly. No matter what your game plan is going to be for the day, you'll have everything you need at your fingertips to pull it off. All boat builders build live wells into their transoms. Boat builders that fish build them with plenty of water flow and clear windows so you can monitor the health of your bait all day. If you like bringing a lot of people on the boat, there is plenty of seating. Not only we have all that seating in the bow, but there's more in the stern you have a fold-away transom mounted aft bench seat. On your port side, there is a tuna door, which is great for big fish, but it's also great for stepping on and off at the dock. And there's a ladder attachment for diving. Being the sandbar queen that I am, I loved the extended transom. 
You have a four-step boarding ladder with grab handles on your starboard side and on your port side, my favorite, a built-in 21-quart cooler. If you have spent any time off the boat at the sandbar, you know what a great feature this is. Sailfish is clearly a company with a mission statement they take seriously. Fishing focused, family friendly is more than just a pitch line for this brand. It's a goal that they take to heart and the byproduct of their effort is written all over this new model. Guys, when we started out today, you know, I said that Sailfish really takes a lot of time to try and improve little things on a boat. And you can really tell when you look around this boat compared to the old 27 that they listen to what the people want. It's really evident all over this boat. I tell you, I think you're right, Cap. Now, they all have the same thing in common. They rode great. This 27 was no exception, but just the ideas they have from the top of the console to the way they do things. How about the storage, Lori? Rick, not just the storage. When have we ever went offshore and left the table up? We never took it out today. Did you notice that? There's so much room on this boat. I told you guys we were going to be comfortable, and I've already made a phone call to my friends, and I said, it's time to upgrade to the Sailfish 272cc. When we come back, our hosts check out a boat built for long-range adventures and hardcore fishing, the Invincible 37 Catamaran. This segment brought to you by Suzuki the ultimate outboard motor.